tour on the inside. There's the heater bay, our countertop, sink, induction cooktop, our panel control here for all the electronics. Plenty of storage everywhere under the bed as well. TV mount, skylight with light, two exhaust fans. Three color changing lights. That's pretty sweet. Kitchen light. And then here we have the shower. Comes fully with a shower curtain that will attach to this as well. And a toilet seat with a flush option and a cassette, black water cassette. Plenty of drawer space inside, cabinet area, everything's on slide locks. Sump pump underneath, pumps everything into the gray water tank which can be evacuated later through the macerator pump. And then more storage space as well under here. Dometic refrigerator, plenty of room, and it has a freezer as well in there. Every window has a bug screen and a privacy shade, and then they all open up as well with lock hinges. And then we also have a 110 outlet here for the dinette. 12 volt AC and a 12 volt USB for the dinette area and back up here we also have another 110 outlet, another 12 volt AC. So this is our water saving feature system, it's actually a foot pedal. So what it does is you turn the water on your temperature and speed you want and it's hands free. So you can wash dishes, in and out, you save a lot of water this way. You have really dirty hands, go in there, wash your hands and uh, off you go. Probably the first camper ever using a sump pump in a camper, which came out of the boating industry. And since the camper is built like a boat, and the first one was built at a marina, so they put a sump pump in, which is parked right behind here. So the sump pump in there, there's a filter in there, so all the gray water goes through that sump pump. And if it gets dirty, you can easily clean that, it doesn't go in your water system. And if the sump pump actually ever uh, has a problem, like overflowing or what, uh, you know, you don't clean it, forget to clean it, people actually happen to do that, you put out a tray in there. So then the water would go outside the camper, it doesn't go inside your camper. So it would never, it would never flood your camper. So all actually the water systems where they're connected is, right, they, they run back to that tray and then the tray would basically, uh, you know, automatically get the water out. If you have a catastrophic water failure in a camper, the camper has four holes in the floor, so the water would drain out. So you would never have standing water in the camper. So here's the power panel the brain of the camper on the inside. Here's your uh, inverter on-off system and battery monitoring control system. Uh, here's your solar charger. Here's the uh, 360 Blue C panel. All around the breakers here. Here's the main on-off, the 12 volt assist uh, on um, and USB plug in there. This is your um, C level. We're using a C level system for the tank monitoring system. And missing are the, uh, is the control for the heater, which is still outside. So it has privacy shades already built in. On the very top you see a zipper, um, which actually gives you access to the nose storage. There's some outside storage there. Mm -hmm. 